Hello, I'm Jesse, and this is a Game Boy I bought about a year ago, but it's having some power issues. Let's see if we can fix them. So I said it was a power problem, but what do I mean? Occasionally, when I power it on, it'll show the Nintendo logo, but it won't show anything after that. It'll just kind of go to a blank screen. I've also noticed that the screen seems a little bit lower contrast than it should. I know the, uh, the original Game Boy screen wasn't particularly good, but it seems a little bit worse than it should. So... What I did was I bought this replacement power board that I'm going to use to replace the power circuitry within the, the original Game Boy. And this is a Retro 6 DMG Clean Power 2. And I got it from Handheld Legends. So first thing we have to do is take apart the Game Boy. Now this is... using this Game Boy is put together with tri-wing screws. So I recommend you get a tri-wing driver bit if you're going to be doing this. I should also have taken out the batteries first. That screw doesn't want to come out. So there's the four screws on the outside, and is it two screws on the inside? I have this. Yeah. I just voided my warranty. Now when you take this apart, you have to be a bit careful because the screen is attached. Let me see if I can get that screw out. Yeah. The screen, the, the, the two pieces are attached by a ribbon cable. So you want to be careful not to break that. You should be able to detach it by just pulling. There we go. So now I have my two pieces, and it's the board with that. Ha it's the side with the that with the battery compartment that we're interested in, and you can see right down here is the board we're interested in. Now everything inside the case is Phillips screws, so I'm going to switch to that, and I'm going to take off this board here. That's the headphone jack. Now this is going to require some soldering. And I'm going to take out these screws. I'm going to take out the actual full board. So it should just pull out pretty easily. You have to be careful about the, uh, the battery contacts fit through the holes properly. And so here's the power board. And we can see that the new board is the same shape and has the same uh, holes in it. And it should just be a drop-in replacement. So the first thing to do is to unsolder the old board. And I'm going to use some solder braid for this. Got one wire out, two wires. Three. Four. So there's the old board. A little bit worse for wear. And here's the wires. And I need to get these into the new board. So the new board is labeled red and the rest are green. And it goes in in this order. 
All right. You want to get the wires through and get them soldered in. Just gonna put a little bit of quick solder here to get it kind of stuck a little bit. Should have put down some flux. That was a mistake. All right, so that's the new board in. Looks okay. All right, now to reassemble. There's little slot here for the for the power board to go into. Oh, actually it has, that's nice, I didn't realize this at first. The board, the power, the new power board has these lines and they show you to line them up with uh, the little slots here. So that's handy. Make sure your cables are all routing nicely. Got a cable that's going to get pinched here. I think that's all the way in. I'm gonna get I'm gonna get the screws back into the main board. Let's see if that one goes in. Okay, I'm gonna get the screen, the other side reattached, just to see if everything works. All right, got it in. Press everything together. Put some batteries in. it works. Who knows if the screen's any better. Well, there you go. Get the rest of the screws in. Another test. Looks like it works. Alright, well thanks for coming along with me as I try to revive this old Game Boy. Bye!